He has suffered much, both in sickness and in reputation. I've included these scenes uh, together God. as they were cut Bring my son in to an him. alternate uh, version of the film. Um, and it's when we had the death of Rochester in, in one block at the end my of the son. film instead of, as God he did, uh, dying in a way twice. But it torments me less as a mother to see you die in agony. In Here we combine the God. scenes with his, um, with his mother and his conversations with Burnett and his slow decline in front of his family. And I think what was interesting about this in the context of the cut that it was in previously is that it, uh, it gave us another chance to go back to the story of uh, Wyndham and his involvement and the involvement of religion and the involvement of Rochester's betrayal of his own talents and the abuse of his body and mind. If God wants men to have faith. And gave us a little more of an opportunity to not, not see a redemption, so but to certainly see a, a, a conversation Most men and are some so kind of, I suppose, but token uh, gesture to humanity you set your reason against in there, religion. Um, which is seen both in these conversations here, but also in you clung the ones reason. that follow with his son. You laughed in the face of God with the aid of reason. And, you know, I, it was always very important to me, and I know to Johnny, that we didn't betray Rochester in, in, in the way that we saw him. And that we and were very honest to his life and, rejected of and probably as honest as we could be to his death. And there's limits to what you can say, me. both in terms of the we accuracy and in terms of the uh, magnitude know, Lord, no uh, and depth of it in you know, the last few minutes of a two-hour film. But Johnny's performance in the sort of last throes of, of death was uh, particularly arresting and particularly you hard swore. Um, to to see. You said you'd and swear. We have here the uh, the sequence with um, with Wyndham where they swear, swear on the Bible um, that they will I return uh, from the afterlife if, today, if either of them is killed I'll in battle. From the and this was again a, a place where I had it always intended to bring the pieces of a jigsaw together to explain I swear the to significance of, of this loss of faith and uh, the self-destruction of, um, of Rochester. And I think the Wyndham story was a very important consideration. And, and certainly for a long time in the the edit of the film and the film that I had in my mind, it was a, an essential part of the makeup. I think the, the feeling was at the end of the day that these images, however striking and the parallels run between death and sex and the physical aspect to um, Rochester's life and the people that played significant roles in that life. Uh, like seeing Alcock or uh, on the deck of the ship, um, maybe there just as a figment of Rochester's imagination, or you know, as he says in the beginning of the film, Alcock, you came back, um, or to see Jane as the, as the in a way angel beckoning him or greeting him from the afterlife. So you know, this was a, a significant sequence. Um, in, you know, I suppose, my take on Rochester's um, state of mind. And then to have him talk to his son and, in a way, tell him to do everything that he didn't. You are now grown big enough to be a man. And the way to be a man is to serve God. And your books obey your parents. <laughs> oh. 
Josué.